Hey guys, what's up? Remember how we replaced the mirrors and lens last time? Well, sometimes we might need to change the focal length for the ideal laser effect. For example, we need long focal length for better cutting effect. And short focal length will bring finer engraving effect. So how do we manage to do that? This is the mirror 9, and from last episode, we know we need to unscrew these two and then remove this out of focus part. Just move it away so that we can have this part with lens. If it's just for replacement, we would unscrew them and then use a new lens to replace this one. But if it comes to a lens with different focal length, then we need to invert it. And then you see there is another placement for lens. We have different placement for lens with different focal lengths. That's why when we're changing them, we don't need to make any adjustments for the autofocus depth. Now comes to the other side, and then we put this lens on it, and make sure the convex side face up. Well, not this up because we need to invert it again. And then we tighten all the screws, and we install all of them back on. Okay, there you go. Now let's see how about lens on Nova. Unlike Mira, there are three options for Nova. Each one of them has different focal length. The one installed originally on your machine is the middle one. No matter which one you want to exchange it for, we need to remove this one first. So we need to remove this vent hose part first. Just unscrew this one and put it over there. Then you can take this part away. Loosen it and unscrew it. And now we have this little knobs. We need to loosen it and then unscrew it. so that we can have this lens cone. We know the original lens is placed in here. You can see that, right? To take it out, we need to use this little helper. You see there are grooves on the spacer, right? Just stick this one in, then turn it counterclockwise, and the spacer will come out. There's also a spring in it. Take it out, and you can have your lens. For better cutting effect, we want a longer focal length, so we need to exchange the original one for the upper one, which means we need to unscrew these two so that we can have this part. Now you have it. There are three screws here. Just remove all of them and then place the new lens on it. And always make sure the convex side face up. Don't forget to tighten all the screws back on. Okay. As for the lower one, it is placed in here. It has shorter focal length, which means a finer engraving effect. Remember how we take out the spacer out and then the spring and then the lens? Well, now we just need to do all of that again, but the opposite way. But still, make sure the convex side face up. Okay, now we put lens in it and then the spring and then the spacer. Still, you need to use this little helper to put it back on. Okay, now we put the lower one in it, and time to put all of these back on. We need to connect these two parts first. Like this. And then, 
we still need to use this little knobs. We need to tighten it. And make sure the lens cone is still at the 10 mark position. Like we said before, different focus lens has different position, so we don't need to adjust the autofocus part. Remember this one? We need to put it back on. Tighten it. And then reconnect the vent holes. And then we tighten this part. And just like that, everything looks good. All right, this is everything for this episode. If you find it helpful, you know what to do. I mean...